I'm not in support of unfaithfulness, but I want us to psychologically reason about why our men are always bragging, you know, we cannot only be eating okra. Do you let me tell you the truth? Women would like to eat different soup too. You guys, a lot of you are not amazing in the bedroom. Let's be honest. I have seen women's group where they discuss it. So women are just managing you. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in this video, I want to address the aspect. You know, a lot of you may have heard about this story. Anyone that does not know, there's a Nigerian billionaire that he's a married man that was having an affair and the girl, you know, ended his life. So um, I've made videos about it. I can put a link. You can all check all of that out. Um, but in this video, I want to discuss our typical Nigerian men mentality. When I say that, I'm not saying all Nigerian men always bear that in mind in case I don't emphasize that later. So I'm talking about this particular group group of Nigerian men um, you know this thing about you know this is what happens when you expect a man to be monogamous you know we are African men we are polygamous by nature and uh, you know a man cannot have only one woman and all of those jazz you know anyways let me actually address something else there's another narrative now because it's very easy our people do this a lot there's this new narrative that why was the wife not living with him that is why it is a, blame it on the woman always blame it we have a, that tradition or culture or mentality of always blaming everything on women in our society we do not know the family arrangement or agreements between them it's possible both of them agreed for whatever reason we don't know it but let me tell you something that, something i've noticed as a content creator i've seen that whenever there's something in the news there are some people that whatever um narrative they want to promote they make a post and they start sharing it on social media and it's fabricated there's now a post going around saying that the woman refused to move to Lagos with the husband. She stayed in Abuja because she's pursuing her career. She is this, she's that. This came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And once it's very easy to spread the fake news and it will travel. Some people sit down and because they prefer a particular narrative, they will create it and they start sharing it. And then all of a sudden it derails fault from who the fault should belong to, diverts it somewhere else. That's why, I people, that's why I tell people try to look for authentic source when it comes to information on the news and stuff like that. And let's not forget, they are even living in the same country. What about people, the, people that are living in different countries? A flight from Lagos to Abuja, how many minutes is it? That if he wants to go every weekend to go spend time with his wife or the wife coming over, you are talking, you are talking about the host, okay, you, his whole family is in Abuja. Have you, his wife and children are in Abuja. Have you not wondered why? If he's busy, if he's happy and he's paying the school fees of the children in Abuja and whatever, have you not called to you that it's possible it's a family agreement that maybe he goes and spends a week and goes back home? A lot of families make this agreement. I'm not saying it's a nice agreement, but you have to respect other people's decisions. There are a lot of reasons why people, you know, make their own agreement. So anyways, I don't want to go into that because they've started pushing this blame on the wife. Okay? It's very easy. Our society is terrible at doing that. Blame a woman for everything a man does. That's on one aspect. That's the one, one aspect of it. So I'm going to leave that out. But I want to talk about this mentality. You know, a man can never be with one woman. This is what happens when a, a, a women expect men to be uh, monogamous. You know, they must have several women. And then you see even so-called so Christians saying the exact same thing. I've always said it. And I'll say it again. If God felt that man needed more than one woman, why did he create only one Adam and one Eve? When he created, think about it, when he created Adam, he created one woman for Adam. But because of the greed of human beings, that is why they keep going and getting more and getting more. Solomon you're talking about, he went on getting more and more and more. Um, D David, he had wives, yet he saw another man's wife, admired her, and went and lay with her. Upon all the wives he had, it's human greed. It's human greed. Something else I want to say. When some men come and brag and be like, you know, we cannot be monogamous. We must have several women. It's not possible. They make it look like, you know, it's a thing of pride. You know, this is who we are. At the end of the day, they almost make it look like it is men. It is a man that stay with one woman that are weak men. But that's a lie. You that cannot stay with one woman, you are the weak one. Because you allow your erection to determine your direction in life. What is sex? Is that what life is about? You are the weak one. There are a lot of things. Do you know what it is to wake up in the morning, get ready to go to a job, to make money for your family to survive on? Do you know what it is to keep an eye on your children? They come back from school and you look through their school books. What is going on with their education? Do you know what it is for a man to spend his time and say, how was school today with his children? There are so many things in this life that if men preoccupy themselves with, they won't have the time to be looking for what is under a woman's skirt. Let's be honest. Don't make it out to look like those men that stay with one woman are the weak ones. No, you are the weak one because you have no control over the snake between your legs. 
it's actually time we call a spade a spade you are the weak one okay there are a lot of men that have lived one woman all their lives and they are happily married people and then what they say you cannot eat only okra you eat a whiskey you will eat it this narrative has been going on for such a long time but you see they, let me tell you why this is happening and they they have this ego and speak about this things because we come from a society that allows it a society that promotes it and then it's society that suppresses women if you go to society where there is equality between men and women you will see that the ability or capability to be unfaithful is 50 50. but we come from a society where if a man is unfaithful he's seen a, eh, na so na, and women accept it if a woman is caught being unfaithful it is a taboo so to a great extent our women are suppressed one religion i'm i'm not in support of unfaithfulness but i'm trying to explain why in our society they think african men is a lie african men are not different from any it's only that the society permits it allows it tolerates it promotes it you understand that is why they keep doing it so that's why you go to you know so-called uh, western society you find that men and women ability to be unfaithful potential to be unfaithful is equal because the stigma is not different between the men and the women let me tell you guys this if your mother doesn't tell you and your wives are not telling you let me tell you guys the truth the truth is this you know some of our men think that these amazing men and all of them let me tell you there are some women go and there are some private women married women groups on facebook go there and see some of the conversations going on let me tell you guys some of you your wives are only managing you you are not satisfying them they are a lot of women are sexually suppressed our society and you know our, our, i don't know how to explain but somehow our, our women tend to be the ones that are more religious typically than men even in our christianity they still pray that african cultural thing where the women are still suppressed more than men that's why you will come to church a pastor will preach submission from morning to night in that submission they will never bother to preach about what the bible says about man love your wife even as christ loved the church to the point that he died for the church they still suppress women. So the women have been beaten down for centuries in our society. I'm not in support of unfaithfulness, but I want us to psychologically reason about why our men are always bragging, you know, we cannot only be eating okra. Do you let me tell you the truth? Women would like to eat different soup too. You guys, a lot of you are not amazing in the bedroom. Let's be honest. I have seen women's group where they discuss it. So women are just managing you. At least the woman will have a baby pregnancy breastfeeding childbirth you know all of that changes a woman physically and she can have an excuse and say pregnancy changed my body breastfeeding made my breast fall and what about you men what are your excuses a lot of you have fat bellies pot bellies your wives are managing you they're managing you sorry to say but let's actually be honest maybe to make some of these men think twice that are managing a lot of a lot of you with your pot bellies some of you your pot bellies are so much that you can't even do press up your bedroom dance, you're basically suffocating your wives. Let's actually tell you guys the truth. You're suffocating your wife with your pot bellies. You compress. Some of you can't do press because when you have pot belly, you know how to keep yourself on properly in the in, I don't know in the bedroom. Use press up not to kill the woman in the name of a bedroom dance. But some women are there. They manage it. They are managing you. A lot of women. Why do you think some women go and taste? the juice outside and then they, they continue tasting and some of them are falling pregnant and bringing babies home that left after many years you find out what do you think is happening they taste it and they see that ah there's a better thing out there's something better outside let's be telling ourselves the truth you tell our mothers our mother time let me tell you a lot of our mothers their own time she be now there's dna there were no dna is no this a lot of our forefathers raised children that were not their own let me tell you some of you do you think a lot of women will not appreciate younger boys that are still fit can do press up with one finger <laughs> oh god you know because i'm triggered to be honest with you i'm triggered because some of these men cannot if you are your belly is that big a lot of you you have no excuse for your fat bellies now your mate that they go gym exercise and stay fit six pack some of you are so fat you are, you are here your belly is there and you go and do bedroom dance the woman is managing to breathe because you are compressed woman and you come out and say i cannot eat only okra you don't know that she self is managing you eh so a lot of women would like young boys that are still fresh cis pack cis pack but because of commitment loyalty and our society is the reason why a lot of women you know 
stay there and continue to manage you guys. Continue to say, let me love my husband no matter what happens. But some of you cannot do the same thing for them. Like I'm talking about men compressing the women. A lot of them, if even your belly is that big, learn how to do press up. Don't over so that you can keep yourself above. So you don't compress or monomo. A lot of women are being compressed. If they tell you their stories. A lot of women, you cannot, like I said, press up, you cannot. If you have that kind of big belly, let me tell you now. Let me give you guys a spoke. Let me help some of you. Okay? Uh, again, I'm not talking about all Nigerian men. I'm talking about some. So, I'm not generalizing. But I want some people to actually sit down and begin to, some of these men to actually sit down and begin to stop feeling yourself. Some of you, like I said, your women are managing you. So, for those of you that have big belly, let me give you a spoke now. That your big belly, go and lose it. You can lose the fat. You have no excuse for it. And then after you lose it, if you can't lose it, even while you're losing it, when you're doing press up, bedroom dance, hold yourself, hold your weight. Don't leave all your weight on on, on, on Monomo. Some of you can't do press up. You can't do anything. You just even what are you talking about? Come and hear some women talk about those of you that only last how many seconds? Wham bam bam, you're finished. And you're coming and say, I cannot eat all your crop. Now women are managing. Like I said, a lot of women are managing you. So women, when they explain in these groups how uninteresting their husbands are, if only, but unfortunately women don't, they, a lot of Af African women, they don't speak. They just manage there. You know, they just, some of you, let me tell you, when your wives come out on Facebook and boasting about their husband, is they, they're just doing it to just make other women jealous. Some of them are fed up. But they just, they manage. And then you come out and say, I, 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 I. so before you guys be feeling yourselves, check yourselves too. Don't think you're amazing. A lot of your wives are managing. Okay? A lot of women too would like to eat okra today, eat away tomorrow, eat whatever. But the, it's commitment and then suppression of our culture. That is keeping... Go to Western society and see how some women, they are even the more... Sometimes you find that women are even more unfaithful. So some people are thinking it's a woman's god giving you... Uh, 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 how do I say it? Ability to be faithful. It's a lie. Sometimes self-respect too helps. Women can be unfaithful too. So you have a faithful woman. Respect her. Respect her. I have seen this man that his life has ended. I've seen his wife. Fine, she fine. Money she get. So what is the problem? So what is the problem? Those of you, you know, it's shameful that a story like this of men are coming and saying, you know, uh, I have seen comments like, ah, the man chopped life before he died. What life did he chop? I have seen the girl waiting dead here. This is all, like I said, a lot of you men that have allowed your erection to determine your direction in life, this is that these are the kind of things you'll be jamming in this life. What is what is that at the end of the day? On the other hand, as a man, as a man saying uh, uh, things like, uh, you know, he was a real man, and, all, and I'm thinking, is this not enough for you guys to sit back and reflect on your lives? Reflect on your lives. Life is not all about sex. There are other things in life. The reason why your bedroom is boring, a lot of you don't know how to make it interesting. The women are managing. But you see, a lot of women are preoccupied. No matter how well a woman works, she will still go for parents' teachers' meeting. A lot of African men don't go for parents' teachers' meeting. The women will go for, they will still cook. They will do. So because they are so preoccupied with other responsibilities, that's why they don't have that time to even be making their, uh, sex their, 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 I don't even know how to explain it. But because these men have too much spare time, that's why they have so much time to be make yourselves busy, be involved in your children's life. Who told you is only a woman that should be there for the children? You can be there for your children. Use your life for th things better. I'm personally sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. If some men can be faithful to their to their wives, you too can do it. Think this man now. If you gave me a second chance in life, that he would come back and do what he did, he would do things differently. I'm going to say this. I've said it before in one of my videos. I'm going to say it again. Whatever that man did, like having an affair, does not warrant a death sentence. He doesn't warrant it. But at the same time, he did something wrong. He should be faithful to his wife. I don't know why. He was living in a different state. The wife was living in a different state. She was living in Abuja, Abuja and he was living in Lagos. I don't know how they come to that agreement. But at the same time, that is a family agreement. That's the choice. I wouldn't advise that. But what if she was the one that was caught unfaithful? then the story will be different on social media. We won't say all this, uh, my woman cannot stay with one man, blah, blah, blah. They won't, you won't hear that. But we live in a society, or we come from a society where men are allowed to get away with everything. If women does pimp, there is a, there is a, it's a taboo. You see when they say some cultures, they put magu, 
uh, how do you say Yoruba say is it magu? They put magu on a uh, magu on a woman like uh, there's this. They say they say they put juju on a woman. If she ever has an affair, the man she had an affair with would die, right? And they use it to prevent women from having affairs. Let me tell you, the day that they will start doing it on men, if those things even work or whatever. But it, let's imagine that we believe that all those things work, right? The day that they will put magu on men, hmm, a lot of people will be dying. Women will die up and down because men cannot, a lot of men cannot control themselves. It's the mind. You see sex? You see that? You know, that thing is the mind. It is the mind. And you have to. If you can't control it, you're a weak man. You're a weak man. So people say that's why polygamy, even men that are polygamous, they still have affairs. They still have affairs. You've seen, you've seen men with five wives as they have affairs. How do you think a man with two wives, how do you think the third one comes in? He goes and test drive and then he brings her home. The man that have three wives that get the fourth one, how do you think he got the fourth one? It is still test drive. They have affairs and they be like, okay, I think this one would come in. And you think it's in the mind. You have to control your mind. The snake between your legs is not the reason why you're on this earth. There are a lot of reasons why we're on this earth. I just wanted to come here and share. Maybe we should actually, let's be honest with our men so that maybe their ego is going to come down small. Let, if a lot of women can be honest and say, ah, oh God, you don't do well. Oh. The women don't say. A lot of women, they, so women complain that the men don't last long. So women, the men, their bellies are so fat, overweight, that to find the snake between their legs, in short, you need a search party. Because it's so far, far, far inside. So you need to lose weight. But women don't complain, they manage. And the men will say, my wife has gained weight. But you have issues. And then they are bragging. I just wanted to come here and say it. A lot of our women need to actually be a bit vocal. Maybe go help a lot of our men for their egos to come down. But they don't talk. But another thing, I think I should make another video about, women should be able to speak. If you want to get a bit of satisfaction, you have to be open to say how you feel and be like, ah, oh, bros, I didn't enjoy that. Oh, bros, don't arrive before me. Wait for me. So women don't talk. I believe the bedroom dance was designed by God to be enjoyed. If you're not enjoying it, if you can be vocal about other things in your life, be vocal about it as well. Speak to your man and be like, okay, you know, next time try this because that didn't work. A lot of women complain about there's nothing exciting from their husbands. But these men are feeling all that. If a lot of women, I think this is necessary. A lot of you tell them the truth. You go to a private Facebook group and you complain and complain about bedroom, what, how, what you're not getting. And then you don't tell the man you're complaining about for them to know that they're not, they're not performing properly. Let them know that. And you think our women, eh, they are satisfied. A lot of them are not. Another thing I have to say, it, being apart is not a good advice idea for any couple. I would say it is not a good idea. It's always good for couples to stay together. I tried it and it caused a problem in my own situation. P couples should stay together. My one, when we stayed in different countries, he was the one that suggested I go when I'm settled, he's going to come join me. But he ended up having an affair because he wanted to spill his juice. You know what I tried to say? And I remember our pastor telling us that this is not a good idea, two of you being apart. But I was too young then. I was like 22, 23 or something like that. I didn't understand. But now I understand better. After the affair, I told him, is it that you come join us? Or we come home and join you because I realized that if I wanted to save my marriage we had to be in the same house under the same roof temptations are greater there are some people that stay together temptations, are, temptations still have to no. know temptations are greater when you are apart at least help to cut that down by staying together but at the same time if the man says that this is what he, 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 the family should do and the woman says no then they say she's not submissive your husband says you should do this you refuse to do your husband says you should do that refuse to do you get my point so our society women can never win as always, this is my opinion, and in the comment section, you're free to say whatever your opinions are. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.